Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to be going over Cisco Packet Tracer 5.1.3.6 titled Configuring Router on a Stick Enter VLAN. And to begin, we'll open the Packet Tracer activity. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the instruction document here. I have this on my second monitor, so I'm just going to keep this up for the addressing table at the top. And we will go ahead and get started. And so the scenario, we are going to check for connectivity before we set up inter-VLAN routing. Then we'll set up our VLANs and inter-VLAN routing. And the final step is going to be setting up trunking and verifying connectivity between our VLANs. So to begin, we're going to hit our fast forward time a couple of times here. We'll see our time shoot up by about 30 seconds every time we hit it. And this just fast forwards the virtual time so everything has time to boot up and initialize and then we're going to ping between PC1 and PC3 so we'll go to PC1's desktop and launch the command prompt option and we're going to ping over to PC sorry PC2 not PC3 here make sure what is PC3 there we are in the Addressing table says PC2. I think they mean PC3 here. So that's a little off. Anyways, we'll go ahead and ping the IP address that they have listed there. And it should just time out with no responses. And this shows that we have no connectivity between our two PCs so we're good there. So we'll head over to simulation mode over here. And actually I need to come back so I can see both of these. There we go. And we're going to run a simple PDU. This is basically the same thing as a ping. And we're going to go capture forward. And we'll see that it comes, looks like it comes across, but it doesn't come back at all. We see that this looks like it doesn't come back. The instructions say it never leaves PC1, which is kind of what it's showing here, is that there's no connectivity. It looked like it came across to the switch, and maybe even all the way to the other PC, but it never made it back. In any case, we'll go ahead and remove that scenario. And we're just going to go ahead and get started on the configuration side of things. So we're going to start in switch 1 here. I'm going to jump into the command line interface. I'll get my mouse out of the way there. And we're just going to create VLAN 10 and VLAN 30. So we're going to hop into the global exec mode and create VLAN 10 and create VLAN 30. Alright, and so we're good with that. I'm going to move this over for a second. We can see that VLAN 30 needs to include F06, the Fast Ethernet 6, and P VLAN 10 needs to include Fast Ethernet switch port 11 on the switch. So we're going to go ahead and set those up. We're going to start with interface 11 for VLAN 10, and we're going to go ahead and do switch port mode access first. This might not be necessary if it's already in access mode, but just to make sure that it is, we'll go ahead and give it the command, and then switch port access VLAN 10. And that assigns interface 11 on the fast ethernet side to that VLAN. And then we'll go ahead and do the same thing for F06 to VLAN 20. Switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 20, sorry, 30. <coughs> Alright, once we've configured those, we can come back and run a show VLAN brief. I'll make this a little bit bigger so it looks a little more organized. And we can see that port 11 has been assigned to VLAN 10, and port 6 has been assigned to VLAN 30. 
So they're on separate virtual networks. And you can see they have connectivity with the switch. But if we ping from one computer to the other, we'll see that it'll still fail. We'll end up with that request timed out again. And it's because we have two separate networks and no routing between the networks. So our next step is to configure our router to route between these networks. So we'll hop into the router and jump into the command line interface. And we want to verify that it's coming in on gig zero, the gig zero zero switch, or zero zero port. And so we'll configure that with sub interfaces. So come back in and go into 0 0.10. So this is going to be for VLAN 10. We're creating a sub interface on that um, gigabit interface port. And we can see that we have that sub interface that we're configuring now. And so we want to give it the command encapsulation. dot one q for VLAN 10. Then we give an IP address based off of our addressing table over there on the left. And this should be the 172.17.10.1 right here with this interface. So that should be set up, and then we'll do a similar thing for the VLAN 30 on subinterface 0.30. So we'll hop over to interface g0 slash 0 0.30 and give the same commands. If I can spell correctly. For VLAN 30, not VLAN 10. Okay, and then we'll give it an IP address based off of our addressing table. 172.17.30.1. And then we'll come back out of global exec mode and we'll run the command show IP interface brief. Make that a little bigger so we can see everything there. So we can see that these have been set up, they've been created, and they are down. And that's because the actual physical port is also down. So our next step is to come back into global exec, go into interface G00, the physical interface, and give it a no shut command to bring everything up online. So from there, we'll hit fast forward once, and then we are going to run another ping from PC1. And these are still going to time out. It's okay. And that's because we haven't configured switch one to trunk between networks through the router. So let's come back in here and we are going to issue a show VLAN command. Let's see if we can open that up a little bit. see that we have our VLANs created, but we have here gig port 101 should be trunked up to that router, and we see that it is still sitting on VLAN 1. When you can see it, that means it's not trunking. So we need to configure trunking for that. So we'll come into global exec mode and go into interface G01 and give it the command switch port mode trunk. So it takes the line down, reconfigures it, and brings it back up. 
from there we can come back out and do that show VLAN command again and if we look G01 no longer shows in our list because it's set up for trunking so it's not assigned to any VLAN it'll allow traffic for any VLAN and to verify that it's been set up for trunking we can issue the command show interface trunk and there it is we can see that it is trunking properly So let's go ahead and close that. We'll switch to simulation mode and run another ping command from, from PC1. And we'll see it does the ARP first. So it sends out an ARP request saying, where is this located? How can I connect to this other network? And as we go forward, we'll see how it's routed up through that router and over to the PC until it comes back with a final response. And then if we double check in our PC let's go ahead and hop over to real-time mode and let that finish we can see the first one timed out as it was doing that ARP request and then the following three were all successful we should be able to run it again and all four should be successful like that so we're done with the PC if we come and look at our packet tracer activity instruction we should have a 60 out of 60 completion so all in all walking through this and showing each step in the commands took less than 15 minutes doing it on your own, you could probably do it in about 10. Um, as always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Other than that, I will see you in my next video.